in the Elgin Snow Command, and this is our brain thrust, or the operation of the unit. This is our, our weather system forecasting device. This is essentially a redundant version of that, but this one is satellite based. And then on the top is a module called Interfleet, which is a GPS tracking device that we can see all of the various uh, snowplow trucks as they're driving throughout the community. The uh, Televent DTN, which is the service that we, that we utilize, their claim to fame is that they're 40% more accurate than the National Weather Service. And for us, the nice thing beyond just the regular weather that they provide is that they provide a great deal of information relative to bridge temperatures and road temperatures. This one is internet based okay. and that one is satellite based. That way if our internet goes down, we're not completely flying blind, we still have a satellite operation that we can get additional information from. Today, this is a great example. If you look at right now, today, uh, you know, the temperatures are still above freezing, yet uh, it call, it's calling for a potential flurries. And if you look at the pre precipitation um, and the, uh, the humidity, the humidity is, although fairly low, the, the chance of precipitation is going up as the night go goes on. And so consequently, that's why you get this warning to call out the trucks. Spot salt, 100 to 200 pounds per lane mile as necessary. But really what this means to us is on a day like today is when we would go out and do our anti-icing. And anti-icing is the uh, application of the GeoMelt product that we have, which is a salt brine, the beet juice, which everyone's heard about, and the calcium chloride that we'll go out and put onto the roadway to, uh, to help minimize any amount of uh, slick spots that might come up. We're not going to go out and do a bunch of salting as a result of this, but we're going to go out and do some anti-icing. You know, one of the beautiful things about the, the Televent DTN um, feed that we get is that everyone who's on snow command, the crew leaders and the supervisors who are on snow command, can set themselves up with alerts and then their, their smartphone devices are alerted when something changes uh, relative to snow conditions or weather conditions. Um, you know, like if, if if you wanted to know when the precipitation dropped or you wanted to know when the relative humidity changed significantly, you can set up an alert for yourself. And then, I mean, I've had it actually wake me up at 2 o'clock in the morning, let me know that something's coming. Because we like to be proactive in this rather than reactive. The reactive groups are the people who wait until um, the Elgin Police Department or whomever calls them and says, we have slick spots or it's snowing. Proactive is being able to utilize this kind of a service and allow us to make, um, you know, necessary adjustments, you know, sometimes two, three, four hours in advance of a snowstorm coming.